At first glance, Zimbabwean footballer Hardlife Savoric Wee looks like any other member of his football team as he dribbles fast down the wing, but just last year he lost an arm in a car crash. Once a regular in the national side, Zavorikwi's playing days looked over when his left arm was badly crushed as his car smashed into trees while he tried to avoid a speeding vehicle that cut across him. But he has fought his way back to full health and back into Zimbabwe's domestic top flight caps United team. It put me on the sidelines when I least expected it. It really had an impact on my career at a time I was looking forward to another great season, he told AFP on the sidelines of a strenuous training session. Many people thought that was the end of my career. Zavorik Wee, who will be closely following his former teammates in the Africa Cup of Nations tournament in Egypt, said he had to learn new ways to play the game after losing the limb. Football is a contact sport and there are times when you need both hands to do a hands-off and to balance, he said. Related slideshow, sports pictures of the week, provided by photo services. England's Owen Morgan celebrates his century in an ICC Cricket World Cup match against Afghanistan at Old Trafford Stadium in Manchester, England, on June 18. Fernandinho of Brazil kicks the ball against Solomon Rondon of Venezuela during the Copa America Group a match at Arena Fonte Nova, in Salvador, Brazil, on June 18. Katie Swan of Britain in action during her match against Pauline Parmentier of France during the Ilkley Trophy in England on June 18. Maria Bohorquez of Colombia hits her second shot on the 10th hole during the Toyota Junior Golf World Cup in Toyota, Japan, on June 19. Jefferson Farfan, L, of Peru controls the ball against Sal Torres of Bolivia during their Copa America group stage match at Maracana Stadium, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, on June 18. Carla Tejedo hits her tee shot during the first round of the Toyota Junior Golf World Cup in Toyota, Japan, on June 18. Bangladesh's Shakib El Hassan hits a shot against West Indies during their Cricket World Cup match in Taunton, England, on June 17. Grace G. Yoro, L, of France tries to win the ball from Nigeria's Halima Tuayende during their FIFA Women's World Cup match in Rennes, France, on June 17. J.J. van der Mescht of South Africa tries to break a tackle during the World Rugby Under-20 Championship semi-final game against France in Rosario, Argentina, on June 17. Los Angeles Angels' Justin Upton hits a single during a game against the Toronto Blue Jays in Toronto, Canada, on June 17. Ukraine's Olga Harlan faces off against Manon Brunette of France during the women's single sabre round at the European Fencing Championships in Dusseldorf, Germany, on June 17. The peloton is seen during the third stage of Tour de Suisse in Merton, Switzerland, on June 17. Luis Suarez of Uruguay, L, in action with Arturo Mina of Ecuador during the Copa America Brazil 2019 Group C match in Belo Horizonte, Brazil, on June 16. Gary Woodland of the United States celebrates on the 18th green after winning the U.S. Open at Pebble Beach Golf Links in Pebble Beach, California, U.S., on June 16. Indian players celebrate after winning their ICC Cricket World Cup match against Pakistan at Old Trafford Cricket Ground in Stratford, England, on June 16. Brooke Henderson of Canada puts for birdie on the 17th hole during the Meyer LPGA Classic at Blythefield Country Club in Grand Rapids, Michigan, U.S., on June 16. Stefan Jovic, C, of FC Bayern Munich basketball jumps to score during match one of the basketball Bundesliga playoff finals against Alba Berlin in Munich, Germany, on June 16. Christopher Bell, driver of the Rude Toyota, celebrates after winning the NASCAR Xfinity Series circuits at T.com 250 at Iowa Speedway in Newton, Iowa, U.S., on June 16. Johannes Gola of Germany fights for the ball with Petrit Prikazi of Kosovo during the EHF Euro 2020 qualifier match in Nuremberg, Germany, on June 16.
Abdulaziz Hadim of Qatar and Junior Alonso of Paraguay compete for the ball during the Copa America Brazil 2019 Group B match in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, on June 16. Magnus Bramming of Denmark in action during the 2020 Men's European Championship Qualifiers match against Faroe Islands in Aalborg, Denmark, on June 16. Carly Lloyd of the USL is challenged by Sue Helen Gallas of Chile during the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup Group F match in Paris, France, on June 16. Chrome LC midfielder John Rannigan checks Atlas LC midfielder Ryan Conrad during a PLL lacrosse game in Chicago, Illinois, U.S., on June 16. John Allen rides Desert Dreamer to win the Burke Builders Maiden Plate at Ichuka Racecourse in Ichuka, Australia, on June 16. Lionel Messi of Argentina, C, fights for the ball with Colombia players during the Copa America Group B match in Salvador, Brazil, on June 15. Australia's Stephen Smith is bowled by Lasith Malima of Sri Lanka during the Cricket World Cup Group Stage match at the Oval in London, England, on June 15. Adam Scott of Australia plays his second shot on the 17th hold during the U.S. Open Championship at Pebble Beach Golf Links in Pebble Beach, California, U.S., on June 15. Raisa Fujo of Cameroon, L., battles for possession with Leek Martins of the Netherlands during the FIFA Women's World Cup Group E match in Valenciennes, France, on June 15. Italy's Matteo Berrettini returns the ball to Germany's Jan Leonard Struff in their semi-final match at the ATP Mercedes Cup Tennis Tournament in Stuttgart, Germany, on June 15. Canada's Janine Becky is challenged by Betsy Hassett of New Zealand during the FIFA Women's World Cup Group E match in Grenoble, France, on June 15. England's Joe Root celebrates hitting a century against West Indies during their Cricket World Cup match at the Aegeas Bowl in Hampshire, England, on June 14. Italy's forward Cristiana Gorelli celebrates after scoring a goal during FIFA Women's World Cup match against Jamaica in Reims, France, on June 14. Mike Freeman, number 6, of the Cleveland Indians advances safely to second base as Jose Iglesias of the Cincinnati Reds fields a bad throw in Cleveland, Ohio, U.S., on June 12. Tiger Woods plays a shot during a practice round prior to the 2019 U.S. Open in Pebble Beach, California, U.S., on June 12. Julian Delbuy of France is tackled by players of Argentina during a match of the World Rugby U-20 Championship 2019 in Rosario, Argentina, on June 12. It was difficult to learn to play in my new condition. It took me time to readjust and know how to balance, know how to tackle, know how to fall. It took me five months to learn how to do all these things. The doctors, the physiotherapist and fitness trainer helped me through the process until I learned the concept of the new me. No prosthetics. He doesn't wear a prosthetic limb and maintains a strict exercise routine to keep his rehabilitation on track. Now aged 32, he plays right back and captains the Harare-based Caps United side. In 2016 he was voted Zimbabwe's best footballer after leading his club to the championship, and he played nearly 70 times for the national side. Our current national team in Egypt at the moment, I really believe that they are going to do us proud this time around. We have got an experienced squad that is balanced and we also have a pool of players that are playing abroad. Hardlife, who was named after his parents' struggles when they were young, is now looking ahead to his own future. I'm still considering playing for more years, and you also have to prepare for the after-playing days as well, so I'm doing my coaching papers and also doing business studies.